Moving slow in PAL world can be a nightmare. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best mounts you can get in the early game that are going to allow you to move incredibly fast across the map, and they're both super versatile as well. And you can even evolve them or at least get variants of them through breeding that allows you to get much cooler versions that I'll carry over into later parts of the game. Now you can get these cooler versions even at the beginning of the game as well, but it's a really cool process and these mounts are definitely going to be ones you're gonna wanna keep in your inventory at all times. One of my biggest gripes with flyers in this game was how unbelievably slow they were, especially the ones that you get at the beginning of the game. But with a couple tricks, you can make them significantly faster and way better to use. Just like this Van Wyrm that we have right here, which is one of my favorite flying mounts in the game, especially because you can turn it into a Van Worm Crist, which looks absolutely amazing. Now, unfortunately, you can't mount and ride it until I think level 40 or 41. But the best part is you can take this Van Wyrm and all the effort and stats and things that you put into it and carry it over to a later version, which is amazing. We're also going to be talking about the Ichthyr Deer, which is in general maybe the best ground mount in the game until much further into the game. This thing is absolutely amazing. And you can turn this into an Ichthyr Deer Terra. I know I'm mispronouncing the name. I'm never going to get it right. I just call it a deer now. But the difference in speed if you set up these pals right is absolutely ridiculous. Let's jump off this bird here real quick and get on our deer. And this thing doesn't look super duper fast, but it really is compared to some of the other mounts. And you can use the antler uppercut to get this massive speed boost. There are so many reasons that you want to get the Ichthyr Deer, and one of the main ones is it's amazing for farming up pals, because you can just run into things. This is not an attack I'm doing. You can literally just trample things that are running on the ground, and then you can capture them. This is great for farming up XP. You need to be- oh, I'm so sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to just yeet you off the edge like that. But there are so many reasons that you're going to need to be farming up lots of pals, and having something that can literally just trample them and you can throw a ball to be able to catch them makes it so much easier easier to be able to just go around the map and capture tons of pals to be able to farm up either materials, resources, pals for the pal condensation machine. The fact that this deer is so absolutely amazing for so many different things, for traversing the map, farming up pals, resources, and things like that, you definitely want to have one on your team at all times. Now the deer that we're using here isn't just a basic deer, I've done a lot to be able to make it significantly more powerful and faster. And the best part of this too is not only is it already fast on its own, but you can use antler uppercut to get a massive speed boost to charge through the area. This is going to allow you to traverse the map incredibly quickly, and I absolutely love it. Plus it does a lot of damage if you do hit something with it, but the ability to just trample over pals like this is just super amazing. Oh, I really... Oh, Oh no, I'm so sorry. I need to capture a bunch of those lift monks because I'm actually recording a video on how to make extremely powerful lift monk. There are so many pals at the early game that are incredibly powerful if you use them the right way. So definitely check out the lift monk and fox spark video that I made because if you really want an OP team, getting these lift monks and fox sparks, even though they look super duper weak, they can be extremely powerful and a lot of fun. Now, like I said, this deer isn't just a basic one. I've put a lot of work to make it really good, and it's not even at its final form yet. We've stacked a bunch of amazing passive skills on here to increase its attack, its movement speed, and even at a low level, it's extremely powerful with 484 attack, over 2,000 HP, and it can only get stronger throughout the game. And not only that, but if you spend the time getting a good version of this early in the game, you can actually use the same one to get a more powerful variant when you get farther into the game, called a Terra type, and we'll show exactly how to do that in this video. Now let's go over exactly how I have made this absolutely amazing deer. If we go to the pal box, there's a couple different things that we can go over. I do have an entire guide on the breeding process, but I'm going to give you a quick rundown on this because it is incredibly important if you really want to make great pals. Now if we look at this one particular deer here, we have the nimble skill, which increases the movement speed by 10%, and then we have another deer that has the swift skill that increases the movement speed by 30%. Now we have a male and a female. So what I did was I took both of these and I put them in our breeding pen here. Now when your pals are in the breeding pen, all you need to do is have some cake in there, which I have one piece right here. And if there's cake in there, then they will mate and they will make an egg for you. Now this egg, once put in an incubator and hatch, is going to have a chance to stack those two passive skills. So what happened was I got an egg here with both the nimble and swift stat. 
So now we have a total of a 40% movement speed increase, which is pretty phenomenal. Now I also want to have a deer that is great in combat too, because honestly, Ikethir deer, or however you pronounce this thing's name, is really powerful when it's at a high level. So I also want to have something that has the Ferocious skill on here, which increases the attack by 20% and the muscle head skill that increases the attack by 30%. Now the downside of this is you won't be able to use it as a worker because it does decrease the work speed by 50%. So you can see here now I have muscle head and swift and this is essentially the same thing where you're having two of your pals go into the breeding pen to be able to stack these passive skills until you get all of them on one. Now I do have a deer here that has muscle head, ferocious, and swift and I think this is where I'm going to stop and I'm going to be happy with this. A 10% movement speed increase would be really nice. So what I could do in theory is take this one and try and get the nimble skill onto it which could take a while to get all four of those skills, but it is completely possible. It just depends on how much time you want to spend doing it. But if you really want the fastest and most powerful version of it, I definitely recommend having Musclehead, Ferocious, Swift, and a passive skill called Runner, which I haven't found on any of the deer yet, but it is possible to find. This is a 20% movement speed increase. Mine Foreman is pretty useless on here. Although if you're running around mining, it might not be so bad, which is actually why I'm deciding to keep it. Now these skills that we're putting onto our deer are the same exact skills that we're gonna be looking for on a flyer if we decide to go with the Van Worm or whatever flyer you want. We want the movement speed and the attack increase. Now the next thing we can do is use the PAL Condenser. This thing you unlock in the technology tree it requires ancient technology parts and is unlocked at level 14. It also requires uh, palladium fragments, ingots, and ancient civilization parts to be able to create. You can get all of these from defeating bosses at the end of caves or in the open world. Now what we want to do with this is take the deer that we want to upgrade, which is the one with all of our passive skills that we've read up. We're going to put this in here and then what we can do is we can add other deer into this to be able to condense them and raise these, the stats of our particular pal. You'll see that we're going to get an increase to HP, an increase to attack, defense, and it's going to level up our Guardian of the Forest skill, which in theory I think would either reduce its stamina cost to ride or increase its movement speed. I haven't been able to confirm either of these, which is a little bit odd, but essentially you want to be able to farm up a bunch of these deer and condense them into one to create a more powerful version of itself. You're basically consuming the souls of other deer to become more powerful. Now this is isn't absolutely necessary, but if you want to make the most powerful version of pals, this is going to be something you're going to want to do. If you want to take this one step further, you can use the Statue of Power to enhance the pal even further with the souls that you find throughout the world. And you can increase the max HP, the attack, and the defense, as well as the work speed if you want. I don't recommend the work speed, especially if you have muscle headaches, because it's just going to be a waste. And essentially, it's going to require one soul, then it's going to require even more each time you upgrade it. We're going to see we get a up to 6%, then it goes up to 9%. Percent, and it keeps going up each time. Currently, the way we have this deer set up is plus 50% attack power. So instead of having 127 base attack, we have 190. We also have a 30% movement increase. Now, once you have gotten one of these deer with all of the passive skills that you want on here, obviously I'm missing the runner one. We can actually combine it with a hang you, which is a ground type pal. And if we take both of these, come back here, you dirty little boy. And we're going to throw them into the breeding pen. And this is how we're going to make the Terra type of the deer. Now, when you have these two breed together in the pen, you're going to always get a large rocky egg from these. This is how you know you're doing the right combination. Now, if you hatch one of these large rocky eggs, what we're going to get is the Terra type of the deer. Now, this turns it from a normal type to a ground type, and we'll learn a bunch of different skills as well. Now, we still get the increased efficiency for cutting trees, and we still keep the double jump, and we can still ride it, although you're gonna have to learn a new saddle. Now, the Terra type deer saddle is level 25, it takes palladium, horns, ingots, fiber, and leather. Now the goal of this is to breed them together until we get all of the same passive skills that we had on our old deer onto a new Terra type. The main benefit of this is you get a different looking deer, which looks cool, although I like the standard one a little bit more. You also get different uh, abilities, so you can access ground type abilities, which you might like for different type advantages. Otherwise, the stats and speed are going to be exactly the same. Now, for your Van Wyrm, you're going to breed it up just the same way you would do with the deer that we talked about. I have Swift and Nimble on here and Ferocious. I would have liked to get Runner on here as well, which means we could have gotten a total of 60% movement increase. 
but I haven't been able to find Runner on a Van Wyrm yet. But that would be, in, in my personal opinion, the best combination would be to have Runner, maybe Ferocious or one other thing that you want to have on here, Swift and Nimble, to make the fastest flying mount possible. Now, Van Wyrm can be found in a few different locations. If you go to Habitat, uh, there's this whole area on the left side of the map where you can find them. Or where I have been farming them up is towards an early part of the game. So this is where you start off. You can go down the map and head down this way. There is a fast travel point right here. There's actually a couple in this area. And you can find them during the day and the night in both of these locations. In this area here, they are anywhere from level 10 to, I believe, 16. So it's a pretty good place to farm them up early in the game. Now, to be able to get the Van Wyrm Crist, you can breed a male or female Van Wyrm to a male or female Foxicle. Now, Foxicles are found in the northern part of the map all the way in this cold biome. There is a fast travel point right here at the Free Pal Alliance Tower entrance, and the Foxicles are actually usually around this spot right here. You can find them anywhere in the snow biome, though. Now these two will always make a large frozen egg, which once incubated, will provide you with the Van Wyrm Crist. Now you'll notice that the one I just hatched, I got super lucky. I actually transferred both the Swift and Nimble passive skills onto here, so we've already got a Van Wyrm Crist with plus 40% movement speed, which is amazing. But these are my two favorite ground and flying mounts. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Would love to know what your favorite mounts are. I'll see you all in the next one.